Hi, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio. And today I'm just gonna show you this quick little video because I wanna show you how to install foils. Um, first thing you wanna do is you need to put up an adhesive that's designed to work with foils. Uh, the product we're gonna work with is my own APS foil adhesive. And this is a really incredible good adhesive to help pull the backing off of these foils to install them. So all you're gonna do is I poured some out onto a plate and I'm just loading it on my roller. Um, I like using the rooster roller low now, and then you're just gonna roll it onto the surface. You don't want this on too heavy, and one coat is all you need to do. And just make sure you've got 100% coverage, because if you miss a spot, there'll be nothing there to actually transfer the foil. So once you've rolled it up, you need to let this sit and tack up for at least 30 to 45 minutes. Um, you want to at least wait till it's at a firm tack before you go forward, but you can leave it there for hours, it doesn't matter. Uh, just got to make sure nothing actually gets stuck into it while it's just sitting there because it will remain tacky. Um, at no point does the adhesive actually dry beyond a firm tack. So I'm going to put up this one that I've already rolled and allowed to dry. So this already has that tacky feeling. It's a firm tack, so you can stick to it, but um, it won't dry beyond that. And now I'm going to show you how to install the foils. When you get the foils, they're going to either be on a full roll, which is about 25 inches, or we also sell them in half rolls or about 12 and a half inches. And on the outside of the roll is the color that you're actually going to be transferring. So I've cut off a piece that's big enough to go across my sample board. And the wrong side has this kind of yellow backing to it. Uh, the most important thing when transferring the foils is make sure the pretty side that you want to see is facing you. If you get these caught with the backing actually stuck onto that um, adhesive, it could stick there um, and ruin or deactivate the actual adhesive. So I'm gonna put this on I'll let it like stick at the top here and then I'm going to use my hand or just use a rag and smooth down the foil. Now I want to check and see how much transfer I've received by just actually using this method. Some of the foils will transfer with a little bit of pressure, some might take a little bit more. So I'm looking underneath here and I've gotten some transfer but you can still see a lot of the product is on the back. So I'm gonna to have to use more pressure than just that rag. So now I'm just using um, just a scrub brush, the pretty stiff bristles, and I'm gonna scrub up and down on this. The one thing you wanna know about transferring the foils is if I use like a circular motion or I go in every different direction, uh, that actual movement will show in the transfer of the foil. So I'm gonna stay with a straight up and down vertical movement. And I always want to check and see how the transfer has happened and if I've got enough. So I'll peek underneath one side, lift it up, make sure I'm happy with this. If I'm not, you can put the foil right back into place and continue to scrub a little bit harder if you're looking for more coverage. The one thing about the foils is you kind of get what you get. Um, you have to embrace all their imperfections and you don't always get a perfect transfer or a full transfer. So now I'm gonna peek underneath the other side, make sure I'm happy with that. If I wanna see more coverage, again, I can put my foil back on and scrub some more. Once you're happy with it, okay, my name keeps falling here, um, you can put the remove and that is a foil transfer.